Summer shirts do not always have to be boring. If you're one of those guys that only wears white shirts every single day of the summer, let me put you on some shirts that look good and won't make you be dripping in sweat. So here are the best shirts to be wearing for the spring and summer. For example, the first one, a textured polo. This one is a gem in my opinion. I love dressing a little bit dapper, a little bit more sophisticated, and a textured polo is exactly that. And funny enough, in high school, I always wanted to wear a polo. But of course, the main thing that stopped me is I was afraid of what people might say. First of all, I just gotta say, never worry about that. Doesn't matter what people have to say, and chances are, they're gonna forget about it right after. But either way, this is a huge trend in men's fashion, so I'm very glad it's trendy. So not only because it's a trend, but because I really like this piece, I'm gonna be wearing this a lot throughout the spring and summer. I have short sleeve ones and I have long sleeve ones. The short sleeve one that I have is from Express. The long sleeve one is from Zara. All right, the second one is gonna be a linen button up. I said button up, not button down. I got way too many comments of people coming after me for saying button down. I get it now, it's a button up. But let me say in general, I love button ups. Quite a few of them on this list, I'm gonna be real with you. But specifically this one, it's gonna be a linen one. Now, the one that I have is from Abercrombie. I actually thrifted it. Abercrombie can be a little expensive. My best guess would be this would go for about 60 bucks, but since I got it from Goodwill, I think I paid only about $4. I love the color. Like I said, you don't always have to wear white. And just in general, linen is one of the best fabrics you could wear for the spring and summer. It's probably the lightest fabric, so it's perfect. It's not gonna make you too hot. Now, of course, you're not always gonna get lucky and find one at a thrift shop. So what I did is I bought one from ASOS. I'm still waiting for it to come in. It was actually really affordable. I think I only spent like 30 bucks, which isn't bad at all, especially for something like linen. Linen can get pretty pricey. It is a little bit more of a luxury material. So when you're looking at linen pieces, you can't expect to pay a little bit more, but especially right now, since the weather's getting really hot, it's definitely one of the best purchases you can make. I'm gonna be wearing a lot of linen. So as soon as I get that one from ASOS, I'll let you know how I like it. All right, the next one is gonna be a Ralph Lauren button up. Now I know that might sound a little bit weird, but it's this one in particular. This is a Ralph Lauren jersey shirt, hands down one of the best purchases I've ever made. This shirt is the softest material I've ever touched. It feels so good on my body. I know that sounds a little bit weird, but it's definitely true. It's light, it's breathable, nothing more you could ask for about a shirt. Now the fabric says 100% cotton, but I've had other pieces that are 100% cotton, and for some reason, this one just blows it out the water. So for me personally, this jersey shirt from Ralph Lauren is gonna be my go-to, my main shirt for this hotter season. Now it is a long sleeve, but don't let that fool you. Like I said, it's very light. Worst comes to worst, I guess you could just roll up the sleeves. Even then, I really wouldn't even think that you would need to. I didn't really throw this one as an actual talking point, but I did want to say that if you're gonna be wearing tank tops, like I said, I'm gonna be mentioning a lot of button ups. So an easy way to layer in this season, pick up a few tank tops. Like I said, it's not an actual talking point, but me personally, I'm gonna be doing this a lot. Notice I call them tank tops. Again, I got in trouble for saying the other one, even though sometimes I say it as a joke. And I get it, I shouldn't be laughing about that stuff. But you know what else isn't really funny? Men's hair. Everybody neglects men's hair. And if you notice, my hairstyle is a little bit different. So I think it's finally time that we switch things up. And if you're wondering how exactly I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna be using the help with today's video sponsor, Blue Mar. As you know, they're my go-to hair products. They've been my go-to hair products with this hairstyle. And now that it's time to move on with the new hairstyle, I'm still gonna be continuing to use them. So as always, first things first, let's wet my hair. All right, now that my hair is wet, I like my hair going forward. Now I want it backwards. Now that my hair is slicked back, let's put the first thing in my hair. This cloud control is all natural deep conditioning hair oil. It keeps my hair nice and soft. A little bit of this goes such a long way. Now that my hair is slicked back, has a little bit of product in there. Since we're blow drying, I want to protect it from the heat. And a good way to do that is gonna be with Original by Blue Mar. Again, a little bit goes a long way. So if you notice, it's not completely dry. And there's a reason for that. I still want it to air dry a bit, so I still get that natural look. But while we wait for that, let's add some more product. My personal favorite is gonna be Hybrid by Blue Mon. It's a light medium hold. All right, so this is the look for now. Like I said, it still has to air dry, but as of now, very happy how it looks. So let's check back in about 30 minutes to see the final result. So this is the final product. I'm very excited how this came out. And of course, big thanks to Blue Mon for helping me with this hairstyle and sponsoring today's video. So the link's gonna be the first one in the description. You could use code Aaron for 10% off. All right, the next one is gonna be a short sleeve textured shirt. Notice again, I said textured because in spring and summer, textured pieces are gonna be your best friend. It's gonna help you stand out, make your outfits look a lot more sophisticated and less boring. So this one that I got is from Zara. Honestly, because it's in the color black, you really can't tell that it's textured until you go close to it. But either way, it's still one of the best shirts that I'm gonna be wearing. This one I picked up a while ago and it's holding up perfect. I know some people don't like Zara and compare it to H&M. Some people like to call Zara an overpriced H&M. I honestly disagree. I think Zara is a great store. And keep in mind, this is someone that used to shop at H&M a lot 
But now that I realized that those pieces just don't hold up all that well, I stopped shopping there as much. I started to learn the importance of spending a little bit more money, but getting a lot higher quality pieces. And I'm not saying Zara is this high quality, high fashion store, but I will say that the pieces that I get from Zara are definitely well worth it. The next shirt that you need for the spring and summer is gonna be a slim fit tee. Now, out of all of them on the list, this is probably gonna be considered the most boring one, especially nowadays when people hardly ever wear slim fit tees. I get it, it's all about oversized, it's all about baggy. Trust me, I get it. But what I will say, my style is more simple, it's laid back. I like timeless pieces, and one of the most timeless pieces out there are gonna be some slim fit tees. Now you do gotta understand the difference between slim fit and shirts that are just way too tight. Trust me, I know, I've had some shirts that I wore too tight, but now I found that perfect fit. I get now that it should be snug on the chest and shoulders, and a little bit looser on the bottom. You don't want it to hug your stomach too much, that's when it starts to look bad. The one that I always get questions about is this one right here. It's a black slim fit tee, I got it from Rule of Threads. And I will say one thing, I know black probably isn't gonna be your best friend when it comes to the spring and summer, but let's be honest, who doesn't look good in a black tee? But if you do like that relaxed fit, the next shirt that I have in mind is gonna be a logo tee. I know that contradicts a lot of what I talk about because I always say that you don't need logos to look good. I still stand by that. But there's some logos in my opinion that honestly do look good. And no, I'm not gonna say any designer or very expensive brands. Trust me, I have a shirt like that. I got it, I thought it was cool for about a week, and then ever since then, I've been embarrassed that I even have this shirt. But it's well past the day of return, so instead of complaining, or instead of letting it just sit in my closet, here and there, I will be wearing this shirt. But a better option, in my opinion, that I'll always prefer rather than this shirt, are gonna be other logo tees. My favorite one is going to be Ralph Lauren. Now, instead of it just saying Ralph Lauren, I like the bear tees, that's exactly what I'm wearing right now. And I know this one's kind of a hit or miss. People have their own opinions about this one. People say it's played out. Some people say it looks corny or tacky. I like it. Ralph Lauren is my favorite brand and I think these bear tees are cool. So if I like it, I'm gonna wear it. And that's really what I stress on this channel. If you like something, then by all means wear it. Who cares what people think or say. If you noticed, in the spring and summer, even this hot season, I'm not letting it hold me back from wearing cool pieces with, like I keep mentioning, that aren't gonna make me drown in sweat. Because sometimes I get that it can be hard, but that's why, again, come May 13th, my clothing line with Essentials is just gonna drop and I'm gonna have several different pieces that you can wear to any occasion and look good no matter where you're going. That's exactly why I'm calling this clothing line the blueprint. Every single piece in this clothing line is versatile and works in any situation. Because I've always said that you should look good no matter which occasion you're headed towards and this clothing line is gonna help you do exactly that. Now let's talk about another textured button up because I talked about a short sleeve one. Now let's talk about a long sleeve one that I just picked up from Zara. I've talked about it before, but I've been loving this shirt. The texture design on it is very unique and it's in the color beige. If you notice, I really like neutral colors especially in the spring and summer. In this season, it's the time to start experimenting with louder colors, but I'm gonna be sticking with beige, off-white, or even just a normal white. I think these three colors are the best, especially when it comes to shirts, especially because something like a light gray. If I do end up sweating in this shirt, it's gonna be very visible. That's why I'm mostly gonna be wearing these three colors. So let me know which shirt that you're picking up next, because I really do think any of these shirts will help you look better. But outside of clothing, if you wanna know the 10 products that I use to make myself look better, I have a video showing exactly that. But other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.